we need to install the PyQt5 so we need to run the Anaconda prompt as administrator after running it administrator we need to install it pip install PyQt5 then it will fetch the package packages and install it successfully install now we need to install the PyQt tools so pip install PyQt5 tools it will download the packages it might take some time successfully installed first we need to start the qt designer from start menu so type designer then start it then we like to take the dialog box create one push button line in it Level two levels and then give it a name like okay. Yes, okay. Run one. Our layout has been created. Save this layout to a folder. Project. Our layout has been created. Now open spider. Open any ID you like. In my case, I'm opening a spider. And the thing is that I just like to enter the when the app will open someone will enter his name then press ok and it, it will show the name to the level so now create a new file save it to the project folder ok give it something main the file ok that's it now import system from pykt we need to from pykt5 we need to import the core function like this and we also need to import from the qt widgets q application q dialog as we are dealing with the dialog so q dialog and think that we need to import the libraries for loading all ui, UI. so Let's say now we need to create our class, give it in any kind of name. Sorry, it would be dialog because we would like to take the dialog as the parameter. Now initialize. Oops. You can give me, you can pass argument, but we don't need any kind of argument for this. So I'm just not giving anything. So, uh, oh, I need to load the UI, and what is the name of the UI? It is coding how do you write okay so I just like to say to window title
and I think that as I have told you that whenever someone click on the button then the line edit it should be something when someone click on this button then whatever written on this line edit it should be shown in this level so that is push button that is line edit and that is level 1 so we need to connect it, connect the push button for the click functionality so push button dot click dot connect and whenever this function is called or the click has been done then it of course call a function and just i'm giving a name like on push button click okay now now we need to define that function on push clicked okay what did it do it will change the level one set text it will set the text something first welcome then it will take the text from the line edit I need it okay the text that's it oh, yeah. give me to name yeah because when I we need to run our application and I need to create the class instance then I need to show it It should fix everything. Okay, that's it. Now run our code. So it is start. I'm just giving it my name, honey, and you can see that it is showing. Welcome, honey. So if I like to modify something here, just taking another that is it is something pause and it is plus name something like that another line edit. So it is line edit one, it is line edit two. Okay, so what to do uh, it will take the first name and the last name then pre then show it to the level so what we should need to change now it should change line it one will come honey then space line edit two dot text so what we'll do now Oh, another thing is that we need to save it, otherwise, it don't get because you can see that. Okay, save it, then run again. Okay, it got it. First name, Honey. Okay, okay, you can see that it is showing you welcome, Honey Fali. So, by this way, you don't need to modify or convert your UI again to the Pi whenever you modify your UI you just need to modify it here and then load your UI load your UI and do your work that's the way that's the way you can talk to your UI through your Python Python code thank you